Today we got Horse Soldier Ooh, whiskey. Yeah, yeah, Horse Soldier. Yep. Really excited about this one. Drink through. The flavor profile, they've won all kinds of awards um, all over the different circuits since they've been out. Yeah. A little bit of a little bit like of vanilla. Stale, cola. Yeah. A little bit yeah, of flat. Oh wow, okay. That's good. That is good. What a unique flavor. Yeah, great drink. Easy. Easy drinker. That's okay, good. So you can tell there's a little more heat with this one. Definitely with the being that the cast heat, drink. A little bit. That oak mm -hmm. stands out more for me. Yeah. Well, that's the peppery. Like, you know, that's probably the oak and the high cast strength. But truth be told, I actually really like it. I love um, it, but yeah, I really like it. It's so, still a little bit bitey, but I not in a bad way. Overall, I really like to see something like this. American made. It helps the the overall focus of why you like something. What is the history lesson on this real quick? Um history lesson. A brief one. As far as what well, we touched on. If you're gonna ride horses, make well, sure you have a gun. Exactly. And, uh, and if they're gonna be a bad guy, choose a different job. <laughs> that's, uh, that's just the moral of the story. What's up, folks? Welcome to a cracking episode of AK Tap Room. I'm Murdoch tapping in. I'm Josh tapping in. I'm Brent tapping in. Today we got Horse Soldier Ooh, whiskey. Yeah, yeah, Horse Soldier. Yeah. Really excited about this a one. Drink through. It's an American-made uh, whiskey here that we have here out of uh, what Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What's the story Great behind place. this, Brent? <sighs> You're asking me. Yeah. What's well, the story? A little bit I know about it is that it was some ex. Special Forces soldiers went into Afghanistan first on horseback, hence horse soldier. Yeah, and basically kicked some ass. Absolutely, they took over. Distilled a, their blood. Distilled their blood. Is this is into whiskey. Exactly. So it's a army group of special forces, and they're the first soldiers in right after 9/11. ODA uh, five nine five. And if you don't know what ODA is, it's Operational Detachment Alpha. So these guys went in, did their thing, and then afterwards they had a love and appreciation for fine whiskeys. So we're gonna try to drink through this spirit today and figure out uh, right. if, well, we're gonna try to and we're gonna get it accomplished. Yeah, we got it. What, are, what kinds of, which ones do we have? We have small batch and then we have the reserve. Yeah. So what's this uh, small batch coming in at? This one I think is 47 and a half. Yep, 47 and a half, right. 95 proof. Murdoch, what's this one coming in at? A special little note. Um, so the Port Authority of New York after 9-11 reclaimed some of that steel and they used the molds to press these nice horse soldier uh, emblems on this. So all through and through, you can't really get more American yeah. than uh, horse soldier. I mean, that's- Yeah, and that's a cast strength one. Cast strength. Yeah, that's pretty hot too. It's like yeah. 65. This is 62 by 62. three. I'll go all by volume. Nice. Beautiful yeah. looking bottle. They're, they're really ornate. They've got a nice design. It's a sleek looking bottle. The history behind it is awesome. Gives it an extra pump, but I'm really excited. The flavor profile, they've won all kinds of awards um, all over the different circuits since they've been out. Aside from the backstory, it looks like an interesting whiskey that we're gonna endeavor to, to drink. So let's yeah. go ahead and uh, get these bottles Question. going. All right, so this is the small batch. We'll start off first with, uh, the, of course, the 47 percenter. And what's that uh, price point? Yeah, this one's coming, up, coming in at 74 99 or 75 bucks. Okay. So this one's not too far after. What's this one, uh, Murdoch? This one's at $90, $89.99. Not too far so. after. So, and obviously those prices will vary wherever you're at, but overall, not bad. Yeah, no not doubt. Not bad. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to give this one to you. Thanks, Thanks sir. sir. Give this one to me. And then let's go ahead and Wanna pour that one now. Yeah, let's go ahead and pour it. Right, let it open up. Pour it up. Yeah. We'll get that nice aerated. We'll see. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Absolutely. Let's see here. Ooh, oh man. Interesting nose. I can't wait to. That bottle looks baller. It Just does. The way. Yeah, it's, it's a good, <laughs> it is a good looking bottle. It's a nice, yeah. a nice presentation. Yeah, man. Overall. So uh, let's get into the nosing, gents. Okay, so the ones we were first starting with small is batch. Small, small Batch. batch. Mm -hmm. small a voice batch. horse soldier. Yep. Right off the bat, I definitely get that sweet. There's a sweetness in it, but it's like a. It's that cola. Yeah, like a cola. Yeah. A little bit of, a little bit like of vanilla. Like stale cola. Yeah. A little bit yeah, of flat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, flat. flat. Oak. Yeah, you get that oak big. I get the oak big mm -hmm. time on it. Definitely get that oak. Yeah, a little bit of vanilla, tiny bit. Mm-hmm. Dang. 
Get that hay What's smell up? a little bit. Got a little bit of a grassy. That smells interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into yeah, it, man. Let's, let's see what we got. This. Wow. Oh, wow, okay. That's good. That is good. What a unique flavor as far yes. as, I can taste that cola. Oh yeah. That cola is like right there. It's in the beginning, yeah. it fades, and then it comes back at the end for me. Yeah. Yeah, it oh, goes no. down smooth. It's like cola, then, then it oak. Yeah. Kicks back up a little bit. Yeah. Right before you swallow. Yeah. That's yeah, I get that oak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that oak right in the front and in the back, and I get along with that cola mixed in, but I do get quite a bit of oak on it. Yeah, it's good, I like it. Overall, what a unique uh, flavor. Yeah, it's, it's definitely kinda... something out of the realm of your typical uh, bourbons and whiskeys that we have, you know, so they're kind of you know forging their niche, so to speak. It's not really a more oily, like a thinner oil, mm -hmm. like feel, mouthfeel. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely more viscous than some, but not super yeah. viscous, where like say that 1792, which was yeah, like yeah. super, super viscous. But yeah, yeah I like that, that yeah, sugary taste. Too. Uh, yeah. Like brown yeah. sugar, yeah. like yeah. you know. Well, see, they right got before that before you drink it. Yeah, yeah. The they've, taste. Got a, they've got a nice dial in of brown sugar. That's that cola, vanilla, yeah, like sweet, but flat, it's flat mm -hmm. cokes. Exactly like a flat coke. Exactly. So like, you left a cola out for a while and then mixed it with something. But you know what? I feel like it adds a really nice flavor to it. So mm -hmm. yeah, and that's an easy drinker too. Mm -hmm. wow. Not in a bad way. Don't take easy drinker as like no, uninteresting. Wow. Wrapped your fixtures on that but one, folks. on the flip side, I mean, when you're getting up to that $70 range, bourbons, well, you or want whiskeys, unique, I mean. Yeah, well, you want uniqueness. You want yeah. it to be easily drinkable. You don't want it to be like a punch in the face. Yeah. Something you want to look yeah, forward to. Yeah, you're expecting to. something out of it like this. Exactly. Just because this is like their, you know, their small batch and then their cast drink, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't mean it's not going to be good. That's still a $75 bottle. Big part of this is it's also non-shell filtered, which oh, is always yeah. a big okay. thing with yeah. us, with us John right. yeah. here yeah, at- Yeah, we all uh, prefer that. Yeah, non-shell filtered. So we appreciate you for non-shell filtered for yeah. your products. So, man, I still get that. A lot of that cola off, nose off of, just what's left over in my glass. Yeah, great drink, easy, easy drinker. Can we get this in Alaska? So, maybe, maybe. I had to have this. How'd you get your uh, well, so I had to have it uh, specially. Uh, flown in. Yeah, flown in, only uh, imported by the yeah. finest. Uh, Alaska Airways. Alaska, yeah, Alaska <laughs> Airways. There was a Baron that came up. No, I'm uh, no, you know, we have our ways of getting different things, but no, this was not here, a find here in Alaska. This was definitely a unique find. Lower 40, it's all over, but I'm sure they'll be making their way up shortly. Yeah, I'm we taking take myself though, because you see some? I seen some when I was in Haynes. Ooh. When I drove, did a little turn and burned to Haynes, for, went there for a couple days. Yeah. I went, when I, st I stopped in Haynes Junction in Canada, and that was, and there was nothing to the dead. Oh, man. Their liquor store, anyway. Well, well, half the battle is, and the fun is trying to go out and source yeah, this stuff. Yeah, exactly. I still like to go into it. Yeah, 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 trying yeah, to go out. Definitely. And doing that stuff, trying to switch. I was secretly it. hoping there was like a dusty bottle of Pappies. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hiding behind uh, some other bottles. You know, like. At MSRP, no yeah, yeah. A like, dusty bottle. Just not knowing what yeah. they had, you know, and everybody's, right. you know, everybody's there for yeah. $20 whiskey. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, Brent, we need to get some of this. Mm hmm. Yeah, definitely uh, add it to your repertoire. It's yeah, the next time we go to Anchorage, yeah, or we we're look just, at all those places. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if fruit can't, or oh. if uh, the food cabs can't get it in. Yeah, yeah. Then we can always try to go to Anchorage, do an Anchorage. Absolutely, run. it's definitely worth trying, that's for and sure. Next, and next month, well, when I say next month, that's in two days. <laughs> but but there, that's when a few of the stores in Anchorage are starting to do like their they're whole like whiskey specials. They're monthly. All their allocated stuff, they right. the month push out. September. One month. Yeah, the month of September, so awesome. Well, let's move on uh, with our uh, yeah, drinking. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pass this down. Drink. This is going to mysteriously disappear, and it will clean itself as well. That's how we roll here. Very clean tasting. Yeah, all right, let's get into this. Oh, shit. Different profile, so you got a darker color, more richer. That is way richer. Like so this is deeper. the Horse Soldier Reserve. Horse Folks, Soldier Reserve. Get your fixtures on this again. Mmm. Wow. Alcohol by volume, 62.3. I still get the cola, I still get the oak, but I definitely get more of a butterscotchy. Yeah. Definitely like a butter, butterscotchy, like butter caramel, butter, yeah, butterscotch. I get like a definitely, I definitely get that oak. Mm-hmm. Like a deeper oak. 
yeah, like a, a richer, probably stayed in the barrel a little bit longer. Man, that's an interesting, yeah. interesting Yeah, there's something I can't. You cloned a little bit more for film. Yeah, yeah, I can't. There's something I can't just More nail mature, down. more complex. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, these aren't age stated either. I didn't no. see anywhere they're saying they're aged. But, I did not either. Or see where it was age but, stated, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. Yeah, wow, for sure. There's, there's definitely something I can't. Yeah. That I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's oh wow. Okay, so you can tell there's a little more heat with this one. Definitely with the being that the castor. Heat, a little bit. That oak mm -hmm. stands out more for me. Yeah. I still get coal and I get the butterscotch. I get like that butter. Definitely milk. get the cola, brown sugar cola. Yeah. It's hot. It is. It's got some spice on this one. Well, that's the peppery. Like, you know, that's probably the oak and the high cast strength. But truth be told, I actually really like it. I love um, it. But yeah, I really like it. It's got a little bit of uh, heat to it, but it's a nice heat. There's that. It's driven with the oak, which is a profound flavor yeah. in and of itself. And then it rolls into that cola butterscotch, and then it finishes with a subtle oak, and then the cola for me. It's still a little bit bitey, but not in a bad way. No, I get, for me, the oak pops out as like the strong note. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, the oak is definitely at the forefront of the development of flavors. So I get oak and then I get that cola you're talking about, which is like a flat brown sugary mm -hmm. type of cola. RC. And then I get tea. like a, a tiny little bit of a type of spice. I'm not sure. I get cinnamon, spice. a little bit of cinnamon on the finish. Yeah, for me, it might not like, be cinnamon. It might be like an allspice or a baking spice or something like that. Well, it's like mixed a, with that heat, so it's kind of... A little bit of on the very finish of it. Yeah, yeah, it's mixed with that heat to send you out. I'm not but sure. it's good though. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not overpowering for me. Yeah, I really like enjoy this one. Like spice or anything like that. It's like just a little bit yeah, too on the tongue. Yeah, I actually really like this one. So for me, just because I tend to go more towards the spices yeah. of rye and just spice yeah. in general. Yeah, if you like rye, you won't be. This won't scare you off. Exactly. This is not a rye by any means, but it definitely has some spice to it. Mm -hmm. Being cast strength, I mean, you kind of always assume it's going to have a big driving force behind it, you know, going mm -hmm. through it and stuff like that. But overall, I will say good, for, for my money, I think Horse Soldier's doing something good here, gents. I think they've got a niche in this uh, community, and I think they're here to stay. Yeah, they definitely are. They got some good whiskey. I definitely love seeing like age stated stuff. It's not mandatory by any means. I think no, most yeah. of my bourbons, like American whiskeys, are probably non-age stated. But it is cool. It's something you get to like separate yourself a little bit too, like mm -hmm. or your whiskey that you're putting out. So let me ask you a question. Sorry to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Is this the piece you both being fellow veterans, thank you. This come out when you have guests over in the same pedigree. You know, Absolutely. I think uh, everything has its niche. It depends on who the guest is. It's Obviously. our Coast Guard. They won't understand anything about what's happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then just you, shout out to I'm the Coast just, Guard. Yeah, shout out to the Coast Guard. I'm just kidding. Just you a little show. Hey, hey, yeah. You need them yeah. there, though. Yeah, exactly. You know when, I mean? when you're on a boat that breaks down and you right. call them, you couldn't be happier to see them. Exactly. Yeah. So, you take uh, back everything. Especially yeah. in these treacherous ass waters of yeah. Alaska. Well, it's nice to see a veteran owned business and veteran driven and American uh, done business do something like this. Because, I mean, if you look at the 360 of this, guys, I mean, you look at it, it's got a nice ornate plaque here. It's nice and big mm. and horse soldier. They've got a, a soldier on a horse. Legendary men uh, has what it is, reserve. I mean, it's not just flash in the pan. Yeah. They try to crank it out really quickly. They've got some nice little metal detail around the edge. And then around the back of it, they actually have a little bit of their story. The bottle is nice in and of itself. I mean, overall, I really like to see something like this. American made something that's got yeah. a huge backstory. It, it helps the, the overall focus of why you like something. The flavor profile obviously is going to be yeah. a huge component of it and a driving force. Right. But I love to see something like this. Yeah, I like the, I will say I like the bottle, the small batch bottle that brass mm -hmm. 10. Well, no, there's another one that's a premium that's actually uh, copper. Yeah. So the premium one, which we don't have, is a copper one. So feel free to send us AK Tapper. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, send us three sample bottles. Yeah, three sample bottles. We'll be sure to finish them we'll off and fill them back up and send them back to you <laughs> yeah. with some three so other things in them. You can tell there was a sense of pride and ownership, oh, taking yeah. ownership of your work. Absolutely. I'm all about that. Look at the craftsmanship here. Look what went in 
Yeah, it's just doing this, man. Because they could have just done a paper label. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, absolutely. Like this is beautiful on more. both bottles. But Check yeah, this out, folks. Look I mean, at this. you get uh, it's rare that you get this kind of American craftsmanship on on much of like bourbon bottles and stuff like that. Not to say that other people haven't done it. It's just yeah. not as predominantly in the forefront. So yeah, pretty cool. So it is a different. What is the history lesson on this? Real quick. Um, history lesson. A brief one. As far as what we touched on, if you're gonna ride horses. Make well, sure you have a gun. Exactly. And, uh, and if you're gonna be a bad guy, choose a different job. <laughs> that's uh, that's just the moral of the story. That's all there is to it, you know. The more that's, I mean, here, the the back of my uh, my shirt pretty much says it all. Yeah. I don't know if you can read that out loud, but uh, what's it say? And God said, let there be let there be soldiers. And the devil. And the devil ran, ran in fear. There you go. <laughs> That pretty much says it all. So uh, with that being said, guys, I think this is a buy for me. Is it a buy for you? Oh yeah. Most definitely buy. buy. If we can, let's make, yeah. let's get on this. Yeah, yeah. we'll order four. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. We'll so, do it, man. So until next time, guys, go ahead, Murdoch. Folks, thank you for viewing another episode of AK Tap Room. Also, I thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell your family. And don't drink and drive. I'm Murdoch sounding out. I'm Josh sounding out. Until next time, cheers. And I'm Brent tapping out. Cheers. Good night, folks. Good night. Thanks for watching.